Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Tara, I'm a mom of two boys, a two-year-old and a four-year-old. In today's video, I am going to show you what I got my kids for Easter this year. Please excuse my voice, it's a little bit raspy because I'm just getting over a cold, but I wanted to make sure that I recorded this video now so that you guys had time to go out and get any of these items if you see something in this video that you like. Most of the items in this video I purchased at Target or from Amazon. Actually, I think all of them were either from Target or Amazon, so I'll make sure to include all the links for these in the description box below. Before we start the video, I do wanna add that even though none of these items are specifically Montessori items, I do feel like all of these items would fit really well into a Montessori at home environment. So if you're someone that does Montessori at home and you're looking for some more Montessori friendly items to put in your kids Easter basket, this is the video for you. And I also made an Easter basket video last year that had a lot of great items in it. So I will link that video here as well so that you guys can check that video out if you need even more ideas. Okay, let's jump into the video. So I've got everything here in, ooh, in the Easter basket. I have two boys ages two and four. So this is going to be an Easter basket that works really great for those ages. And I got them both the same things for their Easter baskets. So everything you see here will just kind of be times two. So they each have their own items in their Easter basket. I thought about just doing like one combined Easter basket, but this year I'm gonna do two separate Easter baskets for them. Okay. Let's start off with the small things like candy. So when we were at Target, my son actually saw these lint gold Easter bunnies and he said he wanted these in his Easter basket. So I got them. I probably would have just done like one a little bit larger Easter bunny, but he saw this pack and he wanted that. So they're going to get a pack of little Easter bunnies in their Easter basket. I also found this pack of Yum Earth Easter candies. I like the Yum Earth candies. They're vegan, they are gluten-free, and they're organic. This comes with jelly beans, lollipops, and fruit gummies. So I'll probably just take out a couple of these to stick in their Easter basket. I'm not gonna give them all of them at once. The last candy item that I have are the Kinder Joy eggs. My kids just love these eggs. They're little chocolate eggs that have toys inside of them, so they just really love opening these and getting the toys, so they'll each get um, two Kinder Joy eggs in their Easter basket as well. So that's it for the food, but kind of to go along with the food, I'm sticking in one of these squeezy snacker reusable food pouches. These are great for babies and toddlers and even big kids. Um, I've been making my own applesauce, so I just wanted something that was reusable to put them in. The pouches that we had before have just all gone missing somehow, so I'm hoping that this one won't because it was a little bit more expensive, but I like the silicone pouch and that it's not plastic. I like that it's silicone, so we're gonna give these a try. The next thing I got my kids were each a pair of sunglasses. These are just the Cat and Jack sunglasses. Toddlers tend to lose sunglasses really easily. I feel like every summer we buy a new pair and they end up getting lost, but that's okay. I just buy these cheap sunglasses from Target and if they get lost, they get lost. But my kids enjoy wearing sunglasses, so they'll get sunglasses. And I also usually put in a swimsuit every year in our Easter basket. I do this because we live in the South and it starts to get pretty hot in the spring and we might even do some swim activities or some water activities. So I like to make sure that we go ahead and get our swimsuits early. So this year I got each of the boys this dinosaur swim trunk from Cat and Jack at Target. And I really like these zip up swim shirts. I don't know what these are called, but these like swim shirts, they have these online at Target. I haven't seen them in store yet, but I like that they zip up and down. They're much easier to take off. I don't know if you've tried to take swim shirts off of kids when they're all soaking wet and you're like peeling it off of them. I discovered these a couple of years ago and they've pretty much had them every year. And I even found some on Amazon as well where they zip on and off them. So I have been like, pretty much exclusively buying the kind that zip ever since I discovered them. So yeah, they'll each get the swimsuit in their Easter basket as well. Moving on to the more fun stuff, they are each going to get a box of sidewalk chalk. So I was specifically looking for square sidewalk chalk this year because the round sidewalk chalk always just ends up rolling down our driveway and we end up losing it. So I was on the hunt for square sidewalk chalk and I was hoping to find like a smaller um, thing of sidewalk chalk so I could give each of them a smaller 
box to put in their Easter basket, but I found this sort of, what, how many is in here? Oh, this has 48 square sidewalk chalks in here, and this is by Crayola. We love sidewalk chalk, we go through it so quickly, so I did buy two of these because it's one of those things where it's not gonna go bad if we don't use it all this summer, we'll use it next summer, and I was really excited to find square sidewalk chalk, so yeah, I bought two of these, one for each kid. I'm realizing there's quite a few like summer outdoors type of things in here and that's just because I'm really looking forward to the spring and summer and so are my kids. Um, so the next thing that they're going to get is this pack of water balloons. My kids really love water balloons and my oldest has actually been asking when we're going to be able to do water balloons and like when it gets a little bit warmer so yeah they're each going to get a pack of water balloons. The next thing I found is also from Target and this is a bubble called a bubble blaster. It's like a little bubble gun. I love these because my kids love bubbles but with two year olds and even my four year old the bubbles tend to just get spilled everywhere. When you have the bubble wands all you have is just a big bubble mess. So I found that either something like this the bubble like blasters that they can do on their own where they aren't really accessing the bubble container um, tends to work out better or I have like I've done a little plate that I poured bubbles in and they can use that that tends to work too so if when I'm doing bubbles I tend to do one of those two options but I thought it would be fun if they each got one of these to do bubbles this year at Target, I also found this pack of Easter stickers. These are puff stickers. We're a really big fan of puff stickers in our house. They're so much easier for little hands to be able to peel. This is the Mondo Llama brand of puff stickers. But yeah, I found these at Target. The next thing I found was this dinosaur Dig It Up. It is a just a little dinosaur egg that comes with a chisel. So it says that you soak the egg in a cup of water and wait for the egg to sink wait five minutes while the egg softens and then you can work at chiseling it and then there is a surprise dinosaur inside the egg. So I thought this would be fun for the kids to be able to do and it's an egg so it's kind of Easter-y. I think that they'll have a lot of fun with this. The next thing I got is one of the things that are slightly different for my kids and that is these discovery tubes. So one of them is going to get a dino tube, actually my two-year-old is going to get the dino tube and then my four-year-old is going to get the, um, it says sea life tube but I thought that these were all sharks. So this is, these are all sharks. Um, my four-year-old has been really into sharks lately. Whenever we go to our local science center, um, he's always asking about the different kinds of sharks. So I thought that this would be fun to do. And, and I've actually also been looking for a shark book to go along with this. So I may end up adding that in if I can find a shark book um, because we don't have any books on sharks right now and we really didn't have any shark figurines either so I wanted to get some shark figurines and then we didn't have any mini dino figurines so I thought that this could be fun for sensory play with the kids um, a little some small dino so yeah each of them will be getting one of these the next item that they'll be getting is a butterfly house I also found this at Target and when we were at the park the other day we saw three butterfly houses at our local park and we were looking at them wondering what they were like I noticed just these lines on them and I was like huh how what kind of bird is fitting in here and then I realized oh no these are butterfly houses they're not bird houses and my kids thought that, that was so cool and they've been talking about getting butterfly houses I happened to find these at Target so these are paint your own butterfly house so we'll paint them and then we'll put them outside the last item that I'm going to put in their Easter basket is a flower press. I will show it right here. I don't have that with me because I'm still waiting for it to come in the mail. I only ordered one of these. This is going to be sort of a joint gift for my kids. Um, my four-year-old has been bringing a lot of flowers home from school now that it's springtime and the flowers are starting to bloom. So I thought that this could be a really fun uh, way to preserve the flowers and have an activity to do with him. Um, for the springtime. Before I end the video, I do want to show you a couple of other things that I found at Target for Easter. I've never dyed Easter eggs with my kids because I felt like they were just too young, so we've always just done like stickers or coloring, but my four-year-old must have heard about dyeing Easter eggs at school and he really wants to do that, so I did get an egg dyeing kit from Target. This just comes with different colored dyes and it even does come with some stickers as well. And since I'm not really sure how this will go over with the kids, I think they'll like it, but with toddlers, <laughs> it can be a little tricky to do this kind of thing with toddlers. So I also ended up picking up 
the, these egg stencils. So these are just little stencils that you can put on the eggs and it comes with little markers. I think both of the boys will enjoy doing the egg stencils as well. Um, between these two, we'll find something fun to do with our eggs. And then I also found these egg cups that I just thought were so cute. So I picked them up. I thought it would be a good way to hold the eggs while we're decorating them so that they don't fall. So I found these egg cups. Then the last thing that I found at Target this year were these wooden Easter eggs. I thought that these were so cute to play with and it would also make a fun Montessori activity for one-to-one -one correspondence. So if you have a younger toddler and you see these at Target, I would scoop these up. They were just in the Easter section. But yeah, they're really like nice quality wood eggs. They had the painted ones and then they also had plain not painted wood eggs as well. All right, that is everything that my kids are getting for Easter this year. I will make sure to link as much as I can below in the description box. So if you're looking for any of these items, check out the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really helps out my channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't subscribed already because I make new videos just like this every week. I will see you in my next video. Bye.